Well, we'll have all that and more coming up later in the show. But first, our top story tonight, efforts building in Washington to change, rewrite, totally remake current marijuana laws. Now, these moves would include legalizing industrial production as well as establishing a federal pot tax. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle quietly working away on these bills, one of which was introduced just today by two Democratic congressmen, one from Oregon, the other from Colorado, both of them calling for an end to federal pot prohibition. Will it work? Joining me now, Kevin Sabat, former White House Drug Policy Advisor and Ethan Nadelman, founder and executive director of the Drug Policy Alliance. Ethan, I'll start with you. Sure. Well, Jerry, it's a lot like the repeal of alcohol prohibition. You see the public returning remarkably quickly to saying this doesn't work. They're saying it's not effective in preventing young people or others from using this stuff. They're saying it's costing tens of billions of dollars in tax dollars every year. It's diverting precious law enforcement resources. It's funding organized crime in Mexico. So a lot better to have a smart, sensible regulatory policy where the state governments control it and the feds provide a modicum of control. That's Kevin, it. what do you say? So is this prohibition? Yeah all over again do you agree with that no no not at all if only this were so easy first of all these bills in congress have zero chance uh, because essentially uh, we're seeing them take up the Barney Frank mantle and the Ron Paul mantle. Those were the two previous representatives that did this. And it's really the extreme right and extreme left coming together to put Strange forward this fellows. false. Exactly. Well, they put, well, actually, we see the extremes on a lot of issues oftentimes meet. The mainstream on this issue is that marijuana can be a harmful drug, especially to young people. The last thing we want to do is legalize it and normalize it. For every dollar we get on alcohol and tobacco tax in this country, we see spend ten dollars in lost social costs so people that look at this know this is actually a loss leader this is not going to work right. i wouldn't make too much of this legislation i know ethan wants to debate you right now but first let's drill down into this bill that sure. polis congressman polis is putting out he wants to regulate marijuana the way the federal government regulates alcohol basically he's going to denationalize uh, the regulation of pot give it back to the states growers would need a federal permit oversight would be given yeah. to this get this the bureau of alcohol tobacco marijuana and firearms all right uh, yeah i mean obviously the pro marijuana lobby is giving representative polis a lot of money that, that to, to talk about this the reality is that again marijuana can be a harmful drug for a lot of people it doubles your car crash risk we don't need any of these extreme policies actually ethan and i would agree we can reform the worst part of our current policies i don't think people should be locked up in jail few people do for small amounts of marijuana but we don't have to legalize marijuana in order to reverse some of those wrongs let's well, okay. look at this in a public health perspective ethan, I, to you yeah. I, I think you guys have been around this uh, uh, <laughs> tree a couple of times together debating this Too topic. <laughs> Uh, is is marijuana a gateway drug? Well, it's more of a gateway drug when it's illegal because people go to the same drug dealers. You go to the Netherlands where they've separated yeah. out the marijuana market from others, you don't see that effect. But more importantly, it's that regardless of the politicians being chicken on this with a few exceptions so far, you have mm -hmm. over half the country now saying let's legally regulate marijuana like alcohol. You have polls popping up across the country. People are saying stop wasting police resources, stop throwing right, money down the drain. Already. Let's yeah, we're, we're not uh, let's show a map here because users. we have sure. 18 states in D.C. already allow yeah. medical yeah. marijuana to be legal. So there's a lot well, of the country already that's on this page. Well, but the funny part I about it is, is that... Yeah, right the, that pro marijuana. Well, that pro marijuana lobby has, has pushed medical marijuana at, in terms of the sick and dying. The average medical marijuana user in California is a 32-year-old white male with no history of chronic illness. Yeah. They actually hmm. have a history is of drug really and alcohol abuse, marijuana? and it's that, that, that same is, movement actually, that's moved. No, that's what the stats 70 say. Seventy percent of the American moves, public. Right. Seventy percent of the American public says it's time to legalize medical all right, marijuana. All right. So Let's there's get a more to an area that we there. haven't covered already in this conversation, yeah. and that's the fact that yeah. these congressmen are saying, "Hey." We've got $16 trillion in debt. We're a trillion in the hole just this year alone yeah. with our deficit. This is a great way to raise tax revenue. Good. So you Blumenauer's, know, heard that exact let me finish. Same. Let me finish. Yeah. Blumenauer's yeah. measure would charge an excise tax of 50% on the first sale. Yeah. So if you're a farmer growing marijuana, 50% of your first dollar would go right to the government. Tax producers or importers would pay 1000 bucks annually just for being tax producers. Jerry, the more or, important part is the state And they revenue. would require the IRS to produce study of of industry after two years. Once you get the IRS involved, my friends, we are talking about a full-on industry that is going to be you got it. taxed, and it will never go away well, because Jerry, the IRS you 
IRS is going to want to get money from it. You're exactly right. What do you think about, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. What do you think about a federal tax on marijuana? Answer my question. At this point, at this point, it's premature because only two states have made it legal. You're not going to answer the question? Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Down the road, it could be a good idea. There we go. But it's mostly about the states and the revenue that the states can make from marijuana. same arguments for years. That's not what these states have heard that argument from Hold on. Federal no, tax that's the Blumenauer bill. We have heard this argument Jerry, the, for the, the alcohol. Polis bill, we have heard this argument for cigarettes. I was talking about the Blumenauer bill. Okay, but the Polis bill is about saying, let's allow is the that states the one you to... Like? Yes. Let's allow yeah. the states to legally regulate that stuff. All right. That's where you start. The taxation yeah. level down the road. Let the states tax Good and regulate. Good luck getting taxes. That's we've heard be. about this for the lottery. We've heard about it for gambling. We've heard about it for tobacco. We've heard about it for alcohol. We spend more on the social costs of the problems of those substances Well, you haven't explained that, though. When you say social costs, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. You want to let Kevin answer? Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm talking about the health costs, the accidents, the lost productivity. Department of Justice report in this administration released a report last year. $193 billion is what uh, illegal drugs cost the U.S. Yeah. every year. Alcohol is $200 billion. Actually, tobacco is about $190 from all the deaths. And right. alcohol we and get tobacco a, are quite a bit more dangerous right. than marijuana. The costs are greater with and, alcohol and well, tobacco. Well, that's debatable, my right. friend. No, no. Well, actually, the science is on the side of marijuana. We're going to have to leave it there. The yeah. shouting is over for the this hour. Evan and Kevin, everybody. thanks for coming on tonight. Appreciate Thank your you, time. Jerry.